friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a very tough case see the cataract there is coloboma iris janular defect at 6 o'clock and this kind of hard brown cataract i am trying feco and if it becomes dangerous at any point of time i will convert to SICS. This is the plan. So I made the main incision and a side port. Now I am injecting air and since there is janula defect I am injecting just a little bit of dye only this much. If I inject a lot of dye what will happen is it will go into the vitreous cavity and there will be no glow at all. So I injected little bit of dye and see the glow is still remaining and the staining is okay. And now I inject visco, fill up the anterior chamber and I plan to do a rexis which is eccentric. It will be on the superior aspect more and it will go inferiorly less. Using a sharp needle to cut the capsule and raise this capsular tag. Now I hold this capsular tag with a uterator forceps bring it uh, near 12 o'clock and go as much periphery as possible here and now here from 9 o'clock I take care not to go to periphery trying to complete the rexis and with small jerky pulls I complete the rexis. And now see what happens during hydro dissection. BSS is gently injected under the rexis, under the anticapsular rim, and as I press the nucleus, see what happens. Again, look at it. As I press the nucleus, the anterior capsular rim ruptures at 6 o'clock. So I decide to do SICS. Now from here the surgery is at high speed at some steps because the surgery was too long and to show all these steps I am going to you know, speed up. So, I have decided to convert to double SICS. That means two SICS wounds are placed side by side and then uh, with the help of a crescent blade, sclerocorneal tunnel is made. And the tunnel is made on the left side. Now I come to this side and nicely the tunnel is met. And now open the tunnel. And now I plan to bring the nucleus out of the capsular bag with the help of these two hooks and it comes out easily because the rexis margin has ruptured. It came out easily. Visco is injected both above and below and with the help of a fish hook the nucleus is delivered. Why fish hook? Why not irrigating vectus? Because if we use irrigating vectus, 
the fluid will go through the janula defect posteriorly and vitreous may be hydrated and the case may become tough. So, I made a oid wound and used a CTR to deliver the nucleus easily. After cortical cleanup, now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. I am retracting the iris margin, placing the haptic over the rexus margin and now with the help of a Macpherson's forceps, I place it over the anterior capsular rim at the haptics are placed 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock meridian. Now after injecting visco and forming the anterior chamber, I am placing some sutures, first sutures at the apex of the two SICS wounds. Sometimes only one suture is enough, but in this case I have put two sutures. I tried to put one more suture here, but we will see in a short time how what happens. After making, after tying this suture, uh, as I come to this, see what happens. There is gaping of the FECO wound, the 2.8 millimeter wound. So, I decide not to put any suture here. And we can see that the wound margins are nicely opposed and it will not require any suture. With the help of the Macpherson's forces, I made a small cut superiorly, that is superior sphincter tummy so that the iris, the people extends little superiorly and the patient gets a better uh, image at the macula. In this case, the, there is coloboma choroid and half of the macula is involved in the choroid, in the coloboma. Now, here I place a releasable suture here and with three loops, I place the suture. I have a video to show how we release this releasable suture after three days on slit lamp. This is a subconjunctival injection of gentamicin and dexamethasone and the conjunctiva is nicely opposed at the limbus. See how I am releasing the suture on slit lamp. Just a thread, longer thread and the suture comes out. And these are the post-op pictures, cornea is clear, anterior chamber is quiet and the vision has got good vision 6 by 24. The patient is very happy. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will give you some new ideas to manage such cases. And my wish is you be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.